So I'm going to do a tutorial right now. Uh, I preheated my oven right now to uh, 215 degrees. And uh, you want to do this, see, you can see here, 215 degrees. And uh, I have my cast irons right here, the ones that I'm going to season. And uh, so I've had them in there for about uh, 15 minutes. You want to let them, uh, so you, you know, obviously you're going to preheat your oven. Once you get to temperature, put them in there and uh, wait about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna take them out, we're gonna season them. And actually before we season, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of uh, tips. So, um, you know, on, on the kind of oils that you guys can use. So here we got the Lodge seasoning spray and they sell it on their website. You can find it on Amazon. Um, and all it is is pure canola oil, which is exactly what you want. Uh, Canola oil, I want to say their uh, the burning point, smoking point is uh, at 425. And the reason why I like this one a lot is because it's pure canola oil and they don't add any additives or propellants. So it's not, there's some uh, oils out there, you know, baking, baking spray that comes with propellants or uh, additives. And it's going to, you know, if you flip the bottle upside down, let's just say, you're going to get the chemicals in there which is harmful. So uh, I like this because they don't add any additives and it's pretty much uh, air pressure and it comes out in a stream. I'm sorry, not a stream, in a spray. And uh, easy to, you know, season your cast iron. So this is one of the best ones to do. And, and it's also edible. You can actually use this to bake. Uh, you can, uh, I've, I've used it to make, uh, or you know, better yet, like, uh, I have a wedge pan uh, from Lodge, and I use this to uh, spray my, uh, you know, in the insides and the cracks and crevices where it needs, you know, oil and I, you can't really get into it. So I use this because, you know, it does a great job. And like I said, you know, it even has nutritional facts. Uh, mine's damaged, but it tells you, you know, it's edible. There's nothing wrong with, with this and, and it's safe. And you know what's in it. So there's that. One of my friends bought me coconut oil. Uh, I haven't used this yet. And uh, I've done a little bit of research about it. Coconut oil is great, but I think it can go rancid. And uh, I, I, I don't know how I feel about it. See, brand new bottle or brand new, you know. So, uh, you know, I have very little experience with this, but from what I know is it has a low burning point, smoking point. So um, I, I like to use oils that are in a higher smoking point, like canola, um, because of, you know, I don't want my, my stuff to burn, my uh, seasoning. So uh, typically, I, like I said, I haven't tried this yet. I will give it a, a try, and once I get some results, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But um, non-GMO, that's what you're looking for. Um, organic. Make sure that you get something that's, uh, you know, good, like a good quality oil or if you guys are going to do a coconut oil. Uh, another one that I started with in the beginning was Crisco. Uh, this is shortening. Uh, this is really good, actually, if you want to get a good deep color. And I've used it several times for my uh, older cast iron, my vintage stuff. And I, you know, I have a little one. This one's a little one. Very inexpensive. It's like a buck like a buck fifty, a dollar fifty, uh, and you can find this everywhere. Um, this one is, you know, good price, and you get a good amount. And uh, you know, you you can grab a paper towel or or your towel that you use, cotton towel. Make sure it's lint free. I mean, it's really hard to find the lint free towel. But whatever you guys use, use it. You know, you rub a little bit, put it on your your skillet, um, and it works great. So this this I do recommend this. This is a really good one. And then the one that I like a lot is is this one actually. And this one uh, I think I've showed you guys before. Grapeseed oil. I use this brand. This brand has been really good with me. And uh, and I, I like cooking with it. Uh, high heat, it says here. Also non-GMO. Um, and you know, perfect for stir frying, deep frying, sauteing, and baking. Uh, this uh, grapeseed oil actually has a higher smoke point. I think it's around the 425 as well. Same as canola. So they're a higher end. Uh, 
they don't have, you know, grapeseed oil doesn't have a taste to it. There's uh, oils that have taste to it. Coconut oil, I think, has a taste to it. Same thing with uh, olive oil has a taste to it. I don't like using olive oil either because uh, there is taste to olive oil. The only the only time I use olive oil um, is when I'm, you know, doing a pasta dish or Italian food or something that doesn't require uh, high heat. But um, those are the oils that I like using. So uh, um, if you guys, you know, whatever oils, flaxseed, I haven't tried. A lot of people like flaxseed oil. Um, I'm not gonna hate on it, uh, but I've heard that it's not as great as people say it is, just because uh, it flakes uh, after a while, some of that seasoning will come up. And it could be true. Um, I haven't had any, any, I haven't tried it. So we'll see how, you know, I can give coconut oil a try and I'll let you guys know and uh, flaxseed. But uh, they are expensive. So, you know, if you guys are constantly using your cast iron and you guys are seasoning, I mean, that's gonna be expensive. Um, I know the bottles can be like 20 to $25 for something small. So, you're, you know, you're better off with, you know, something like this that does something similar that does works great as well. And, and you get great results. And um, so, yeah, but anyway, so here we go. We're going to start, um, usually you should most likely use an oven, uh, high heat oven mitt. I, I have one myself. <clears throat> I use paper towels. A lot of people say don't use paper towels. Um, I agree with that. But uh, I'm washing my uh, cloths. And uh, for now, I'm just going to stick to this. It does leave a little bit of lint. But um, as long as you don't, you know, uh, put too much pressure when you're using the paper towel, uh, you're not going to get a huge amount of lint on it. Not only that, but since it's paper, uh, with the high heat, it'll most likely burn off. Usually does. Um, but anyway, here we go. So, quick tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy, and it's hope you you know find it useful. There's a lot out there. So, and like I said, this is you know a uh, already been in the oven for 15 minutes, a little longer now. And you're gonna use just a tiny bit amount of oil. You can see there nothing too too much just because you don't need uh, that much oil otherwise you're gonna get uh, flaking and you don't want that just rub it in like I said as long as you're not you know putting a lot of pressure you're not gonna get so much of that lint from the paper towel you should be okay And obviously you're gonna do the outside as well. Very small amount, but a dime size. Just rub it in. Make sure you're always protecting your hands, it is hot. And you wanna get it uh, every single part of the cast iron as much as you can, get it in there. Now I like using this wood block just so that I'm not scratching or damaging my appliances or, you know, if you're doing it on a countertop. Uh, it also, you know, like if you have uh, tile or granite or anything like that you still want to protect your your cast iron and your countertops so it's you know like i said use a wooden uh chopping block or whatever you have on hand something that's going to protect your uh something that's going to protect both your you know your cast iron and your your uh your counters See, and this is where the uh, canola cooking spray would come in handy uh, here because uh, I just realized I can't really get much oil in there 
Um, so we're gonna try and give it a shot and uh, see if we can kind of do a quick spray inside without making too much of a mess. There we go. And a lot of people have said, spray it on and clean it off like as if you didn't mean to have it in there in the first place. So make sure that uh, what you do is, you know, get it out of there. And uh, I forgot to put my mitt back on. Make sure you do. You don't want to burn yourself. I've done it before. It hurts. Yeah, uh, try and get most of it out as much as you can. Like I said, you're not gonna be, you know, scrubbing it in there. You just lightly kind of grab the paper towel and, and uh, you know, get it in there. You're not gonna be scrubbing away. It's not like it's dirty. But that's good enough. We're gonna flip it around. And usually, uh, since I did a very light coat, I'm not gonna do, um, Actually, well, I will actually. I will I'll give it a rundown with another paper towel to kind of get everything everything off. But typically, when it's such a light, you know, when you do such a light uh, amount of oil, you don't need to so much, you know, like give it another rundown. You can, and I will, just so you guys see what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, try and get. Like I said, look, you can see, you know, uh, there was a little bit of lint. Time to switch over to the other one. So you might be end up, you might end up using a lot more paper towels. Like I said, mine were in the, uh, mine were in the wash. Mine are dirty. And uh, the ones I use is something similar to this, where I want to almost be lint free. Um, it's similar to this one. It's not this one. That's why I'm not using this one. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna give it another wipe down, pretending like we didn't mean to do it in the first place, get any of that oil on there, flip it around, do the same thing. You know, like I said, I feel this is a little less harmful because it's paper um, and you know it's gonna burn off but uh, try and have it as clean as possible if you do see lint on it uh, give it a quick wipe down not a big deal <clears throat> All right, and there we go. Happy with that. I'm gonna stick it back in the oven. And uh, what I've learned actually with the technique that I've picked up, and I actually picked up from another YouTuber, and it's actually a great idea, is so after you, after you season it, you know, and rub it in, rub the oil in, give it about 15 minutes after you turn up the heat, um, Give it about 15 minutes and then go back in there and you're going to take them out and wipe them down again. And that's, in, you know, in case it's pooling, but very light coat. You don't need it to be super drenched in oil. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get pooling. And uh, you stick it in the oven. And uh, you crank up the heat. I do it to, since I'm using uh, grapeseed oil, since I'm using that, I crank it up to 450. Uh, and leave it in there for 15 minutes. Take it out, wipe it down, and then put it back in for another 45 minutes and then let it cool. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna uh, see you guys in a little bit.
All right, so uh, after you season all the uh, cast iron skillets that you guys are gonna season, whatever pieces you have, uh, grab your, you know, uh, not grab, but set your uh, oven to 450. That's usually a good temperature where you're gonna, you know, get a good um, polymerization on the with the oil. If you're using uh, canola or uh, high heat, you know, avocado oil, same. 450 is a good setting. If you're using a lower smoke point, uh, 350, like if you're gonna use olive oil, 350 is a good one uh, for olive oil. But anyway, set it to 450. Right now it's climbing and uh, we're gonna take a look. Oh shoot, I thought I had it on. All right, let's try that again. So here's my oven, it's a little dirty, but uh, you can see I have my pieces in there. And uh, once, once, like I said, that reaches its temperature, uh, give it about 15 minutes. So st set the timer once your oven is at 450. And and then, uh, oh, I also recommend that you turn on your, your fan to your range hood because it is gonna get smoky. So you don't wanna you know upset the husband, wife, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, you don't wanna upset them. Make sure you turn it on. Do, do yourself a favor too because the uh, smoke can get pretty bad. So anyway, I hope you guys find this informative. Uh, once, once they're done, I'm gonna show you guys the results, but uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, let me, uh, we're gonna let this go, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, uh, it's been 15 minutes uh, since I put them in there, and we are going to take uh, one at a time, take them out, and uh, wipe them down, just in case there is some uh, pooling. And uh, so we're gonna show you guys here how I do it. Here's the first one, no pulling. So we did a good job with that. Still give it a quick wipe down just to be on the safe side. Very careful not to burn your hands. Uh, very easy to do so. Uh, make sure when you handle it, you, your cast iron, make sure that you are very safe. Like I said, this glove comes in handy, especially because I have fingertips to use. So you can get in there in the grooves. This is how I do it. Uh, I recently bought this, this uh, mitt because I, burned, I kept burning myself and uh, honestly I was just tired of it so I had to pick something up and uh, this was very inexpensive, you can find this anywhere, you can even find it at a grocery store. But there we are. You can see, looking good, stick it back in the oven. one here you can tell uh, there is a little bit of pulling wipe it down try and get most of that pulling to, to not set like that but um, you should be good once once you finally cook it all the way through you should be good and uh, none of that should come out like you know showing like that a quick wipe down should help you out to get a good even uh, coating for your seasoning. Pick both sides. And like I said, very careful with it. Um, it is very, very hot. But I do recommend doing this after you uh, stick them in there because, like I said, if you start getting some of that pulling, you can avoid that. Here you can see, looking a lot better. Stick it back in.
very, very hot, like I mentioned. Make sure you're wearing gloves that are heat resistant. Otherwise, you can burn yourself. You don't want any of that, believe me. Burned myself and it was a tiny little burn and it hurt for five days. I had to use some aloe. Uh, my sister thankfully had some aloe vera. She helped me out. Um, my wife also, she's uh, she's had uh, her, her, her mother actually dropped a little bit of oil from cooking, from moving a pan and uh, dropped it on her foot and she had sandals on and sure enough it burned her pretty bad and that was actually one of, one of the worst burns and honestly it probably would have been better if she would have gone to a hospital to go get checked for, you know, actual burns because uh, I remember it looking pretty bad but anyway uh, this one I just seasoned the inside my outside is well seasoned but my inside uh, I've been using it a lot so it's getting kind of kind of like a on and off uh, uh, seasoning so like I said I'm only gonna do just the inside stick it back in and then let it go for another 45 minutes and you guys should be good once uh, once that happens I'll let you guys uh, see a quick video all right guys, so it's been a couple of hours, well, yeah, a couple of hours. And uh, it's still, still hot, not that hot. But yeah, it's still hot. Anyway, um, finally did a first season, uh, first coat of seasoning. And uh, you can see it turned out great, no pooling, you know. Like I said, if you guys follow that, those instructions, <clears throat> you guys can get uh, good seasoning uh, built up on your uh, cookware cast iron cookware and like I said uh, it's not that difficult and I recommend you guys do this uh, you know maybe once a week depending on how how often you guys cook how often you guys do it um, I mean like the oven method uh, you can do stovetop method uh, which is a lot quicker um, which would you know me explaining it would be uh, you guys placing it on your stovetop let's just say we're gonna place it here uh, after you're done cooking, this is usually what I do. After I'm done cooking, I'll wash it. Uh, I don't use soap. I did use soap, but uh, I stopped using soap. The reason being is that I want whatever I cooked in there to have res you know residue stay. So I'll, I'll clean it with a with a brush or and and warm water. But um, so you, so I mean you can buy something like this. Um, or any kind of brush, you know, this is a nylon brush, but this is from Lodge But I, I use this and I uh, just scrub the uh, the surface or whatever is dirty and uh, You know if you got some stuck on me messes or grime or whatever, you know, you can use a scraper a plastic scraper either from Lodge or from uh, Whatever, you know, uh, butter pat has their own as well so some something like this you know, you can grab and, and scrape uh, any stuck on messes. Um, like I said, Lodge sells one and uh, Butterpat has their own. They actually ship uh, cast iron cookware there, cast iron cookware with uh, with one of those um, scrapers. And if you want to buy one from Lodge, you know, this is Lodge. They have different angles. So, uh, you know, this angle here is uh, for whatever side, square side a round side for edges um, and these work great I, I do recommend these and they sell these on Amazon you can find these anywhere you know uh, Lodge they're great things actually they, they help out a lot especially if you don't use soap like like I mentioned right now I don't use it uh, not anymore but uh, yeah so this is the result results after a coat of seasoning and uh, like I said I am very happy with that Let's see the the other one. What else do we have here? Also, we had a little bit of pulling. If you guys recall looking at that video, watching on this one. But like I said, if you guys see, and these are the results, the end results, and, and I'm very happy with this. Um, so this one had a little bit of pulling. Uh, I, if you guys could have seen it in the video, there was pulling um, just everywhere. And uh, after I wiped it down, <clears throat> it got rid of the pulling. So like I said, that technique is very useful. And do it in the first 15 minutes after you guys, you know, after after you guys uh, put them in there to bake. Um, 
So yeah, do it in the first 15 minutes because it's one hour in total. So 15 minutes, take them out, wipe them down, and then re you know put them back in there and then let them go for another 45 minutes. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Um, and then my last one, which is the Smitty. This one's a big guy. This one, Smithy has always been a little difficult with me, like for me seasoning it. And, uh, but I do like the results. It is a lot better than, than usual, you know, but I don't have pooling. There's no pooling, but, um, you know, I, I, my wife used it or I, I actually know I ended up cooking. I forget what I ended up cooking in it. And, uh, we ended up leaving it. I had to leave. And then uh, I came back and then just stuck it in the oven and didn't realize that I had so much residual oil that uh, it just kind of baked in and I tried to scrape it off, but it's kind of just baked in there now. But um, either way, that's fine. It's going to develop, uh, you know, a dark, a darker color once I get a good seasoning on it. But uh, like I said, no pooling either. You can tell there's no pooling in that as well. So I'm very happy with the results. Like I said, you know, other than these little things, this was prior to me seasoning. Other than that, I mean, no pulling. That's why I recommend that technique. And I learned it from one of the YouTubers. Uh, shoot, I can't recall his name. If you guys know, uh, you know, all credit to him. Uh, so, yes, and, and I wanted to share this with you guys as well. If you guys haven't seen his channel, um, I, I think it's cast iron chaos or maybe somebody else i can't recall i'm sorry whoever it is if you guys know who he is he's a great guy and uh that's where i got my uh technique to uh season that way because I, I was in the, in the beginning i would get a lot of pooling didn't know why but like i said that little technique 15 minutes after you put them in there wipe them down you'll get better results uh, when you pull them out anyway um so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys find this informative. Give me a thumbs up if you guys uh, like my, you know, this information. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know. This was, you know, requested by somebody. Shoot. Um, so, you know, more than willing to show you guys, uh, you know, some techniques. What I picked up uh, over the, you know, over the, that period of time that I've been using cast iron cookware. And, uh... Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll do a, a quick fry video with this and uh, I'll post it as soon as I can. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.